In this video, I'll guide you through setting up your joysticks for use in Star Citizen 3.20 and newer. This is a update of a previous video that I had made. There's been some significant keybind changes in Star Citizen 3, 3.20. The same method can work whether you're using a single stick, dual sticks, a stick and a throttle, dual sticks and a throttle, sticks and rudder pedals, doesn't matter. You'll use the same technique here, just amend the axis that you move later. After we're done with that, I'll show you a quick little tip that you can use should your left and right sticks become reversed, meaning that everything you'd bound to your left stick is suddenly on your right and vice versa. I'll guide you through fixing that real quick and easy. Uh, I'll show you how to back up your keybinds as well. And without further delay, let's just jump right into it. So this setup video assumes that you are starting with the default controls and keybinds. If you've tried setting up your sticks before and had a little bit of trouble, I'd recommend you reset them to defaults and I'll guide you through that. I'm going to click on our options here. Keybinds at the tippy top. Advanced on the lower left. Control profiles. Second option from the top. Reset the defaults. Keyboard, keyboard. Mouse, mouse. And here, if you've got joysticks, just pick them. You may see one, two, three various options. Hit load. Everything's been reset the defaults. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go on the lower left. We're going to go from keyboard and mouse over to joystick HOTUS. I like to start with flight movement, so I'm going to hit the little plus by flight movement. Pitch controls the way the nose points, whether it goes up and down. I like to start there and double click it. Move my right stick forward. And you'll notice it says Y axis input to input to. This tells me that my right stick is the second joystick that Star Citizen found. Just note that in case things get backwards later easy to fix yeah all right let's go ahead and double click that move my right stick out got it x-axis input two input two that's groovy and now our roll double click and i'm going to twist my right stick excellent got those done i want to take a moment here and tell you the difference between well and abs abs is absolute meaning that wherever that input device is positioned, it reads that as an input. So if your joystick is right in the middle, read that as zero. If your joystick is all the way forward, read that as 100%. Relative is more like a scroll wheel on a mouse, or if you're using a set of these VKBs, there's a rotary encoder. If you intend to bind one of your controls to those, in to those encoder wheels, I would recommend that you use relative. I like to use absolute, so that's the method we're going to use here. We're going to go to throttle forward and backwards, ABS. Here we are, throttle forward backward, ABS. I'm going to double click that and move my left stick forward. Answer yes here. You'll notice that this says Y axis. It doesn't say input two or input three. This is the first device that Star Citizen found. Just so that makes it easier later. ABS right here. Double click. Move my left stick outside. Answer yes. And now let's do our up and down, our strafe up and down. So your strafe up and down, double click, and I'm going to twist my left stick. Excellent. So now we have bound our right stick to be controlling the nose of the aircraft, largely. Nose up and down, nose left and right, spin on center axis. Our left stick has been set so that it will tell the air of uh, the uh, spacecraft to move forward and backward left and right up and down let's go ahead and take a moment and set up our weapons while we're in here so we'll collapse that tree down and go to vehicles and weapons expand that out a little bit i personally like to have my weapon groups bound to separate triggers so on my first weapon group i like to bind that to my right sticks trigger squeeze trigger we're going to go ahead and do that now. Double click and squeeze that trigger. Button one, input two, input two. Perfect. That's the second stick. Now we're going to bind our second weapon group. I want to do that to my left stick. Answer yes. Great. All right. So now let's go ahead and set up our missiles while we're at it. So let there's toggle for missile operator mode. I'm going to expand vehicle seats and operator mode with the tippy top. Locate the one that says missile operator mode toggle. I'm going to double click that. And I like to use the hat on my right stick. I like to bump that out towards the left. And that's how I tell Star Citizen I want to go in missile operator mode or bomb drop mode if you happen to be flying in an A2. All right. 
Now let's tell it whether we want to lock multiple device, multiple missiles and things like that. Let's collapse the vehicle seats operator mode tree. Go down to vehicles, missiles, expand this out. And we're going to go increase number of armed missiles. Double click that. And I'm going to use my top left hat and move that up one. See, it says up hat one. Perfect. And if I want to decrease the number of locked missiles, I'll push that same hat down. And if I want to change to the next missile type, I'm going to cycle next missile type and move that hat towards the right. Now, launching missiles. I like to use the pretty red, big red button on my rightmost joystick for that. So I'll double click tap and bump that button. Button three. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Arena Commander and test our changes. So we're going to go back. We're going to go Arena Commander. We're going to go offline. Don't need to be online for this. Let's go Classic Race. Free Flight is just fine. Let's choose a vehicle where we have multiple weapon groups. So let's choose something like an arrow. And we're good. And let's launch. I recommend you use free flight here. That way you don't have any enemies fighting it. You don't have to worry about anything but other than just testing your sticks. I'm going to hit deploy. Here we are. And now that we're done with the blink, let's test our right stick. So we're right stick forward. Nose goes down. Nice. Right stick back. Nose goes up. Excellent. Our right stick towards the right. Nose moves right and left. Groovy. Let's give it a twist. Spinsies. Excellent. Let's try our left stick. Let's move our left stick on the outside. That should make it chip scrape towards the left. Let's go towards the right now. Chip moves right. Let's try up. Excellent. And a down twist. Good deal. Now here's the part that causes some trouble sometimes. If I push this stick forward, I want it so that when I push my left stick forward, the ship moves forward. For me, that's more intuitive. Pushed it forward, the ship's moving back. I pull it back, the ship moves forward. For some people, myself included, that's not desirable behavior. We're going to fix that. We're going to go into our options here. I'm going to hit Escape. Options. I'm going to go to Controls, the tippy top. We're going to arrow over to Joystick HOTUS 1, the first stick that it finds. I'm going to go to Inversion Settings, Flight, Flight Movement. We're going to find the part that says throttle forward and backward ABS right there. And we say invert that. We're going to do the same thing for joystick HOTUS 2. Inversion. Flight. Flight movement. Forward, backward, ABS. I just saw it. There it is. Got it set. Now we're going to go back. Return to game and test it. I'm going to move, move the left stick forward. Yes! Moving forward! It's moving backwards. Excellent! Let's do a quick little fly. Got it. Now let's try our weapon groups. I'm going to squeeze my right trigger. Excellent. Squeeze my left trigger. Squeeze them both. Yes. Both the pew-pews. Now let's try missile operator mode on my right stick. I'm going to bump that left top left hat to the outside, towards the left side. Notice my mode changes. I'm going to lock an additional missile. Decrease back to one. Good. Cycle to the next missile group. Excellent. And now let's fire. Good deal. Our sticks are set up. We're good to go. We have a bunch of additional controls that we can put in there, but I'll let you do that at your leisure. I want to show you how you can flip your two sticks around. Say that something happens, you plug in a camera, you unplug a camera, whatever happens, a new USB device gets added or removed. That can change the device order in Star Citizen. So suddenly what it thought was stick one yesterday is now stick two. This is how you fix that. You can open up your console with the tilde key. I'm gonna hit PP like Papa Papa and hit tab until it says resort devices. So Papa Papa, resort devices, joystick. And then one space two. That tells Star Citizen whatever key binds are bound to joystick one, move them to joystick two, and vice versa. We bang on the inner key, we get the 606 actions move from JS0 to JS1, nine actions move from JS1 to JS0. Perfect. 
That should flip a two sticks around. Let's test it. Let's move our right stick forward. Notice the whole ship goes forward and backward. Our left stick. That's how you quickly flip those around should you need to. So PP, resort devices. One, two. Excellent. Okay. Let's cover saving your keybinds to a file. That way we have them backed up in a safe place. Going to hit escape. Going to hit options. Keybinds, tippy top. Advanced on the lower left. Control profiles right here. We're going to say save control settings. Give it a name. And we're going to name this dual sticks. And I'll make this file available in the video description. There'll be a link to download this should, should you want to. Now we've got it saved. There's a bunch of other keybinds you can do, and I would recommend that you periodically save this whenever you make changes. So now we have them saved, and you can load it in the same way. You go to Control Profiles and load it right up in there. So let's save this. Let me show you where you find these keybinds on your hard drive. Wherever you have it installed, browse to that folder. The default is C colon backwards slash program files, Robert Space Industries, Star Citizen, and then, of course, Live. Go to User, Client, Zero, Controls, Mapping. There's that file that we just created. We can say copy this, paste it into a different directory, put it on your Google Drive, put it on your iCloud, your OneDrive, wherever you're going to put it, put it on a floppy disk, put it in a safety deposit box, wherever you want to put this to save it. That's how we do the basic controls. Got that covered. Now, if that's all you needed from this video, I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Please consider giving it a like. Maybe even throw me a comment on the bottom and let me know how I can improve it and make it better. All of that makes all the little robots on YouTube show the video to more people and I get more exposure. I'm a tiny channel. I need all the help I can get. All right. If you stuck around, that means you want to know more information. I'm going to share a little bit more with you. There's some keybinds that I like to use that works well for me. Since I have dual, dual sticks and a throttle, I like to also incorporate the throttle. So we're going to go into keybinds here. I'm going to go in advance, joystick HOTUS. For me, I like to bind my speed limiter to my throttle over here on the side. And the way that I do that is under the flight movement. There we go, flight movement. We're going to look for speed limiter. There we go, speed limiter, ABS. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to slide my throttle forward and backward. You notice it says input three, input three. That was the third joystick that Star Citizen found. Okay. So now I have it where I can adjust my speed limiter using this big old nice fancy throttle over here. Um, I like to use that when I'm flying in and out of like those Lagrange stations or the long flights you're flying along the surface of a planet. I also like to use the cruise control. So I bind a button on my throttle for that. Cruise control toggle, double click that and squeeze the push the button. Got it, button 38. Nice. Okay, this throttle has um, throw levers that you can use to lower and raise the landing gear and things like that. So what I'm going to do is find the one that says landing system deploy. I'm going to select that and move that throttle up, that little throw up. Good. And now we're going to go to retract. Got it. Okay. I also like to bind the one that says VTOL. I like to bind that to my throttle on the tippy top. Got that set. Okay. Now there's an, there's an option to enable or disable your speed limiter. I like to bind that on my leftmost stick on one of the hats. So I'll double click that and I'll push the appropriate button on my hat. Yes. Okay. So what that means is that while I'm flying around, I can hit that button and it disables the speed limiter and the little square will turn to a dash square, meaning that I, I can go past that little, that little selector. When I'm coming into land or I'm, I'm maneuvering in tight, tight spots, I like to hit that button to make sure my speed limiter is engaged, and that way the full throw of my throttle or my joystick 
gives me tighter control. It's much more refined, especially when you're docking the larger ships into the into the stations. I find that's helpful for me. All right. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I very much appreciate it. You have a great day. If you think of things that I can add or subtract in this video to make it better, please share them in the comments.